Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I miss saying that so much. This is my first day filming in like the last week and a half and my first time getting glam and I'm just feeling so good. I want to send all the positive vibes that I have right now to you if you're watching this video. If you've been in a slump and you haven't really done your hair, done your makeup, I encourage you to pause this video right now. Go grab your makeup. Go grab your wig, go grab your like natural hair products and get glam with me because I'm telling you, it's like, I've been in my bed most of these days. So from now in my bed, I'm hyping. I just haven't been in the mental headspace to just really just like, you know, pamper myself, I guess you can say. But I'm so happy I got up early this morning and did it because I'm telling you, like when you take time to do your hair, your makeup, you put your perfume on, you smell good, you feel so good. And I'm in such a great mood, you guys. I'm trying to tone it down, but like I'm just really, really happy and I want you guys to feel that way too. And so if doing like your makeup and your hair is a form of therapy for you, I encourage you to pause this video and do it with me. So if you want to see me go from this to this, continue to watch this video and I'll see you guys. I was gonna record this without light. I just put a light behind my camera. I think it looks pretty good. I still have my morning voice because very early, but I want to get up because I'm really excited because it's the first time I'm really getting glam and like a week and a half. As you can see, I already got my eye mask on. I got those brewing. These are the Peter Thomas Roth um, 24 karat gold eye mask. I'm pretty sure that's the name, but if it's not, I'm gonna have it all linked up below, so don't worry about that. I haven't worn this brand since February. I bought these when I was in Hawaii for my birthday, but I've been wearing eye masks lately. I just bought a whole bunch of different brands, and I've been wearing them, and I think they're working, because one of my last videos, someone asked me if I've been getting like under eye filler, which I've never gotten, FYI. The only thing I've ever done to my face, I got like Botox right here, but I didn't really need it. It was just like, for fun, I was there with a friend, they were getting some shit done, I'm just like, I wanna, like, I'm telling you, when you're there and you're with someone, like, you just, you just think some shit to get. And so I got some right here. It didn't really do anything. It just stopped me from frowning for like four months. Like, I couldn't frown. But that was like, what, maybe like eight months ago now? So it's all dissolved or gone now. Botox, Botox and filler is different. I think filler, like, um, what does filler do? It like, it's what people put in their lips. Like, you know, it enhances or adds. And I think Botox is just supposed to help like with wrinkles and stuff. But I've never gotten filler. So when someone asked if I got under eye filler, I got happy because that means that me using eye mask more consistently is working. Cause I bought a whole bunch of brands. I just been wearing them either every day or every other day. And so the fact that someone said my under eye looks good, I'm like, okay, they're working. So let me just keep using them. All right. That was a lot of talk and a lot of information. We need to do our hair first, and then we have to do our makeup. I'm so excited because I haven't done this in a while. So for hair, we're gonna go all out, all right? I'm gonna like do a wig. I'm low key, I don't really want to do the ball cap method. I do, because I haven't done it in a while, so let me just shut up and do it. I bought a new tube of ORS gel, because my other one I kept leaving the top open and it spilled out. Before I put the wig cap on, I'm gonna just take a toothbrush I already brushed my edges back last night before I went to sleep, just so I didn't have to do it in the morning, but I wanna just go over it with gel. Because right now it's just brush with edge control, so I wanna put some gel on it. And this will probably help the, uh, the stocking cap like stay down too. Now I'm gonna take this stocking cap, whatever these things are called, I haven't used this in so long, I don't remember. A little hole so my ears can stick through. Ooh, not this earring be in my way. I look nuts. I look so crazy. So now I'm gonna take the ORS gel and put like a thin layer around like my hairline area. And very thin layers so it would dry fast. Cause I'm excited to put this wig on because I did it a really pretty color. So next I'm gonna take a thin layer of this got to be free spray. Oh shit, that just got all in my eye. Oh my God. To be honest, typically I hate doing this method because I just hate the sides cause they never wanna lay down. But this is a closure wig, so I don't even care if it's not perfect or not. I mainly want the middle part to be good. So now I'm gonna take a little dryer and dry this. It should take like five minutes. All right guys, this is a dry and I'm tired of looking crazy. So before I cut it, I'm gonna take just some foundation powder, my Sephora Micro Smooth, and this flat brush by e.l.f. that I really like. And I'm just gonna apply the powder like kind of around my hairline, but mainly focused on that middle part where you're actually gonna see it because you won't see the sides. All right, guys, time to cut this off. I need a mirror so bad. I'm just following my heart. 
thing. I'm gonna add more powder in a second, by the way. And with this part, I just tuck it under, because if you cut it off too much, then the back doesn't really have support. So I just tuck that part under after I cut it. By the way, guys, don't mind my really badly chopped shirt. I used to wear a shirt that kind of went like this, and so I just took my scissors and went like that, and it's not really neat. Like, you can definitely see, like, the ridges and shit, but whatever. Okay, so I cut the rest off while looking closely in the mirror because I needed that. As you can see, some of my hair is on the side. I did that on purpose because I tried the wig on to see, you know, what I was looking like. And you can kind of see the stocking cap from the wig or like on the side. So I just cut that off because I need it anyways. So now I put some rubbing alcohol on this towel and I'm going to wipe my forehead with that because we're going to glue this wig down, guys. Not gel. We're going to glue. I lied. I have a cotton pad. Way better. <laughs> So I'm just taking the alcohol and cleaning my forehead and make sure there's no like excess oils, foundation, none of that. Or not foundation, the powder from the stocking cap. So the glue I'm using, I've never used it before. I got it from this place called Hair So Fab. I actually didn't buy this. They sent it to me because I bought a whole bunch of hair for the finale of my recreation series, which I'll still be doing this week. Um, not the finale, I have two more episodes. Episode this week and then the finale next week, but I bought a whole bunch of hair, and I guess I spent so much, they were like, get this bitch a free glue. So I'm like, let me use this. So I'm gonna put some on a popsicle stick, and I'm gonna grab a mirror, cause this is hard. That should be better. And we gonna apply a thin layer of glue, like that. And it's not getting any of my hair, by the way, which is cool. Like that. And it's a five of my closure, so I really don't need that much glue. This looks like it's about five inches, right? And I put it on the stocking cap too, so that lays even flatter. Although it looks really good underneath the lace. That first layer is dry, so I'm just gonna put one more layer down. And then we're gonna apply the wig. That dried really fast. I don't know if it's because I'm in the bathroom and it's hot or what, but that dried really fast, which I like. Cause makes this process quicker. I'm doing two layers because I don't plan to keep this on forever. I'll probably keep this on until Thursday. And then I have to take it off my recreation series. Um, so you know, this should, this should hold me until Thursday. If you want to make it last longer, you put more and more layers, but I typically stick with two. This is the wig I'm gonna be applying. I made a really pretty brown wig. I was inspired to do brown hair by Beyonce. I was watching like old music videos and live performances, and I was watching this one performance when she was still with Destiny's Child, and she had this really pretty brown hair, and I was just like, I want that. This isn't the exact color, but I mean, it's still Beyonce inspired brown. All right, this is looking about dry. I don't know why I'm nervous, but let's put it on. I'm gonna go to the mirror really fast to like put it on. Not the whole thing, you'll see. So I put it halfway on. I did not think this through. I'm gonna, there has to be a way I could bring a mirror in here to make my life easy. Okay, I grabbed the mirror from my room and this is much better. Okay, let's pull this forward. I don't want to get on the glue too soon. To be honest, like not to be an astrologist right now, but it makes me mad that I don't have any Virgo in my chart. If you have Virgo in your chart, you're closer to being Beyonce, and I, I don't, and it makes me mad. Cause I feel like Virgos, they're just, your work ethic, your mind, very powerful. And I want that, well I have it a little bit, but I just know, if I had, to, if I had a Virgo rising, I would hit a million subscribers last year, two years ago. Let me shut up. By the way, if you're wondering why my tongue is randomly blue, it's because I took my sugar bear. I've still been taking those. They still grow my hair out. I'm on my third month. Uh, I guess maybe I can do an update like on my sixth month. I don't know. But I keep them in my bathroom because I come in here every single morning. So that's how I'm reminded to like take them and not forget them. I just know I'm going to look cute later. So before I cop the lace, I'm going to pluck this part a little bit. I can tell the sides of the lace definitely need more glue, but I'm gonna just put gel. I think as long as there's glue in the middle holding that down, then that should be straight. Yeah, it's looking better. I'm gonna cut the lace off now. And hopefully I don't butcher it. Cut that part out first. 
I'm definitely gonna have to put some powder. Yeah, for sure, some gel. Typically for the front, I just take my scissors and drag them. Oh yeah, there's definitely some excess glue. I'm gonna take some alcohol and just wipe that off. This looks very good though. I mean, minus the extra gel. Let me go clean it off really fast. All right, guys, I'm doing the baby hairs now. I already did one little swoop. I think I'm gonna do one in the middle too. I'm just doing the sides. I just take a little section out and I like tweeze at it a little bit and I just drag my scissors. You guys have seen me do this so many times. I'm gonna take that same gel and just swoop down. I love this hair color too. And when it dries, it's gonna look better. But I do need to take out one piece. Too long, way too long. Ah, uh, my makeup on. I'm gonna become so powerful. Wow, I love this already. I haven't even styled it. Okay. Who is she? Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna go stare in the mirror and contemplate if I want a middle baby hair or even a little swoop. And you guys will figure out if I decide to go through with it in like one second. <laughs> my lace looks perfect that took me like 30 minutes so i'm happy i paused the filming so like i lightened these baby hairs a little bit and i did like the lightest swoop i could possibly do at first i put it like pretty heavy but it just wasn't it just wasn't looking right so i just you know i'm a perfectionist so i just sat in the mirror just tweak 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 and this is perfect i checked natural lighting and i am unclockable so first i'm gonna take these eye masks off because they've been on for like 30 minutes wow it looks so way wow Wow, I'm like looking good. I'm feeling good. I want to cut this hair a little bit. I'm not going to cut it super short. We just need some layers, okay? I love this color. So I'm going to take my scissors and just drag to the front. I do need to cut these ends off though because they dry as hell. So I'm going to cut off maybe like this much. I don't know the measurements, like what, like two inches, three inches? Just so I can have more flow and more movement, you know? Because they're dry. I got these bundles as well as the closure from a vendor that I'm testing out. I like the closure, but the bundles, they're okay. Okay. So let's layer the front part to frame the face. I just take this and drag it down. I feel like Alyssa's gonna like this color. I know she is. I don't think I've ever done this color. I've probably done like something in the same family, but this looks really good. So right now I'm just taking the scissors and dragging it at the bottom of the hair to get rid of that bluntness. Love that, perfect. Beyonce loading! Let me shut the fuck up, I'm so irritating. Honestly speaking guys, side note, if you ever need some motivation, literally just watch Beyonce videos. Cause whenever I watch any video, like maybe have videos like Beyonce being a Virgo for 10 minutes straight and that kind of stuff. They just motivate me. I don't know why they just do. Wow, I love this. This is so pretty. Combing it out. Get all the tangles that come with cutting it. Yeah, this length is perfect. This cut is perfect. This color is perfect. I like this a lot. When I do the makeup, ooh. Now I'm gonna take this Kiss Argan and Macadamia Oil, just a pump of that. I'm gonna keep it straight for now and I'll determine if I wanna curl it or do anything else with it once I do my makeup. Cause I don't know, I kinda like this sleek straight look. I think it looks good. I'm just rubbing the oil through the hair and need some oil. Okay guys. I must say we're looking pretty good. I might have snapped, but do I always? No, I don't. Sometimes I fuck up. All right, we have to do our makeup now. This is when we really get into formation, okay? My under eyes looking pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna exfoliate first. Use this glossy exfoliating stuff. 
exfoliating skin perfector. Just gonna, you know, take care of my skin a little bit. I'm not gonna go with my eyes though because I just had eye patches there. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Where's my serum? I think we need this one. No, 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 I need a toner first. Okay, let's use that. So I'm gonna use this toner by Origins. Alyssa's such a weirdo. Hi, B. You said what? Those are the guys got the engineering curl. What are you filming? Uh, glow up. My hair looks so cute, right? Oh, like you did your hair. Right? Yeah, do I look like Beyonce? Uh, no. <laughs> hey, okay, babe. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. What? Got that white one? Yes, that's what inspired this. The brown. Alright, girl, I'm gonna call you back. I'm trying to post by 12. So now I'm gonna put some serum on. Take this one by Fresh. It's the Deep Hydration Well Infused Rose Serum. I kind of applied that terribly, but it's because I was using one hand. It's like my hair is in the way, but you know I don't want to push her away. Next, I'm gonna take this skin brightening cream. I don't know what this brand's called. They sent this to me. It's like 004 BR. I don't know. But I've been using this on these little scars I have in the middle of my forehead. It just seems to be working, like it's getting lighter. So I only focus that on this little area right here where I have like a few little tiny scars left. I'm trying to lighten those. For moisturizer, I'm just using my Kate Somerville Power Cream. You're called Power Cream, right? Duh. And one last thing for skincare, for whatever reason, I'm getting like an eczema rash like underneath my lip and then right here. So I'm just gonna put my Chine Cinnamon Cream on it. Um, this, you have to get it prescribed by a doctor, but it's how I clear my eczema. So like around my lip area, it's really like patchy. So I'm just massaging that in there. All right guys, and while I'm moisturizing, ready to be our face. And I think that's it for skincare. I think, I hope. Cause I'm about to do my makeup and once I start, I can't go back. I don't think I need to put eye cream on cause I did the eye patches and I feel like my eyes look fine. Yeah, let's do the makeup. All right, so first I'm gonna take this blurring primer by Color FX, one of my favorite ones. I'm gonna focus that. You can like literally see it working as you put it on. And I mainly put that on my nose area. Right now, time for concealer, my favorite part. I'm gonna take 360 by Fenty Beauty first, and I'm gonna go over that with 300 after I blend that out. <sighs> I miss this feeling. Now I'm gonna apply 300, which is a lighter shade. You guys know me in my bright under eye. But before I even blend that out, I'm gonna take my NARS Natural Radiant Longer Foundation and just start to apply that. I need my handheld mirror, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so now I'm gonna take powder to set on my eyes. Then I'm gonna take my Sephora Maximum Powder and set my entire face. I'm doing a really natural glam, like I'm not even gonna do eyeshadow because to be honest, I feel prettiest with natural glam. And I wanna like, you know, really glow up today. And that's my idea of glowing up. So if you're expecting eyeshadow, sorry babe. <laughs> Not this video. Guys, I just almost butchered my entire head because I didn't realize until after putting on foundation that I had like a lot of excess glue right here. 
So I kind of just struggle with that. But I'm at the bronze using my Tarte Hotel Airs bronzer. Now I'm gonna take a Peaches Blush by MAC. I'm gonna really go heavy with that. I'm kind of like above it underneath my eyes too. Just tone down a little bit of that brightness. Cause I kind of made it a little too bright. <laughs> On my forehead. Taking this brightening powder. I'm just gonna create like balance. And I'm gonna like take a little bit of that and put it like kind of like right here. Just to like center it. Cause right now it kind of just looks like right underneath my eye like that, like a straight line. So I'm gonna bring it down almost to kind of create like a triangle shape to like center that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set my face. You guys will see, it'll come together. Using more for setting mist. I set my hair too. Like I like to set my waist because powder gets on that or powder gets on the hair around there when you're like setting your face. So I kind of like put a little setting spray around that too just to like dissolve the powder so it doesn't look ashy there. This is what you call a face paint. All right, now I'm gonna quickly do my brows. Let's speed this part up. Hey Google, play Hate the Club by Kehlani. Hate the Club by Kehlani, sure. That's play my on favorite Google's song music. Moment. All right, so now I'm gonna take Hula Bronze by Benefit and lightly contour my nose. Whenever I contour, I do like a harsh blow on the brush and kind of get rid of most of the product just because I feel like nose contour, it's so tricky, man. And you put too much product and you're destroyed. the same brush just wiped off I'm gonna go back into my transformation palette and just perfect the contour and I'm gonna go over all that with my Sephora Max Blue Powder just really buff it out that looks good so I'm gonna take this Becca highlighter in the shade Opal with this fan brush and I'm gonna actually highlight today because I really want to get glam that's really bright. I'm gonna turn that down. No, I'm gonna use my finger for this. I don't wanna butcher that. I'm gonna put some on the tip of my nose and then a little bit on the bridge. Just like that. And then I'm gonna go over this highlight, same brush I use for my powder. And basically buff that in. I'm gonna set my face one more time, by the way. I like to set my face like twice or three times, especially after highlighter, because it makes the highlighter like melts to the skin. 
But I think I want to my lips first. And I kind of want to add just a little more blush. Okay, no, I won't. I won't do that. Before I do my lips, I'm just going to apply some lower lash mascara using NARS Climax. And for lip liner, I'm going to line using Chestnut by MAC. My lips have been really kind of messed up ever since I kissed Poppy on the forehead. Alyssa's cat, I love my pops, my Rossi. And I was being too loving. I kissed him on the forehead, not remembering that like sometimes our cats cause allergic reactions for me. And my lips have been like, just not smooth ever since. Like it's still slightly like inflamed just a little bit. So I'm just waiting for that to pass. I mean, I took some like allergy medicine that calmed it down from like itching, but fuck me up, man. So for gloss, I'm taking this one by Essence first, called For a Night Out. That. Oh, that's really pretty. But you guys know, I got nude it out. I'm gonna take Buxom White Russian. mind when I grabbed these two glosses I was like that's gonna look good and I was good all right I think I want to curl this hair might as well we're here right I'm gonna speed this part up I'm gonna just do some light curls hey Google play he still loves me by fine temptations Service choir. Thank sure. you. Playing on Google Play Music. Alright guys, the hair is done. If I want to go back and perfect anything, I'll just do it after I'm dressed. Speaking of getting dressed, I don't know what I wear. I don't know where a top and pants or a dress. I'm not trying this one shirt I have. And let's see how I like how this looks. I'm not gonna wear green for my theme on Instagram. Let's see. How do you 
you work? Oh, I don't know what the fuck I thought you were, but I don't like it. Ew. Ew! No, I'm not wearing this. I think I'm wearing this dress. All right, let me put it on. Okay, so the dress is like, you put this part on first, and then it has like a sleeve that you put on. I tried to take photos in this like, well, like a week and a half ago now. I don't like my hair, but this looks so much better. Ooh, ooh, oh! I need to be white, period. Wow, this looks so good. And I love this dress so you don't need a bra, and I hate bra, so. Oh, I just remembered. Okay, so if you watched my swimsuit try and haul, I'm out of breath putting this dress, I'm not gonna lie to you. But if you watch that try and haul, I mentioned having a boob consultation for like a breast lift. However, my appointment was supposed to be on June 1st, and this is when like all the protests kind of, no. They didn't start to happen, but this is when they were like getting really strict, setting curfew. And so they had set a curfew for Beverly Hills at one, and my appointment was at 1.30, so they had to reschedule me. I have an appointment on the 10th now, and so I'll let you guys know how that goes, but I haven't went yet. I got like a few comments of people asking me how it went. I think it's really sweet that you guys even remembered, but they rescheduled me for the 10th because like I said, there were uh, curfews because of the protest, so I couldn't go to Beverly Hills. I can't wait to take photos. I feel so pretty. I'm gonna still pick out a perfume and heels and earrings and maybe a necklace and I'll be right back. All right, so I didn't put on earrings because I kind of like the small ones I have on right now, so I'm just leave that alone. I didn't put on a necklace because I don't really have any like fashionable necklaces. I need to buy accessories. Uh, perfume, I'm using uh, this Killian Rolling in Love because I feel like it'll just match how I feel. So I'm just spray that on. It smells so good, oh my God. Perfume really seals the deal for every single look, I promise. Because I mean, you are looking good. When you smell good, it just, uh, it just brings everything together. And it just makes me really happy. I love fragrances. I used to work in fragrances, so it's kind of my gig. But now we have to set our face one more time. And I think that might be it, actually. I lied. I want to like spray some body shimmer. Mainly on my coll collarbones, just to make them look more, you know. And then on my shoulders too, like that. Yeah, that looks good. All right guys, we are all done. I am so happy I did this. I love, love, love this hair color. What's crazy is last night, I want to dye this wig to black because it's like my favorite color to do my hair, but I'm so happy I did this. I just feel like it's like perfect, especially for like we're about to enter the summertime. It's perfect. I love this. You guys will see me wear this wig a lot because I feel like it's a perfect color. The lace looks good. I just, I never want to take this off. So if you want to see my full outfit, go to my Instagram because I'm going to be posting photos on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, Give it a thumbs up, and if you are not already subscribed, I don't know why, we're getting so close to 700,000. It makes me one step closer to a million, which is my goal by my 26th birthday. So, we'll see if I do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say it right now, manifestation. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time filming for you guys. I want to give you guys some positive vibes. I hope I did that. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm gonna do like a well, do I want to say I'm going to do it and then what if it fails and I don't do it? I plan to do like a self-care type video. I just hope I can execute it the right way. So look forward to that. And then Friday, I'll resume my Watch Me Recreate series. But I'm not going to tell you guys who. You can guess down below if you want. Think primary colors.